Hey there, welcome back to another video. I'm Coach Manny Rodriguez. I get the pleasure of talking social media marketing to you. In today's video, I wanna share with you how do you open a transcript in a YouTube video? I wanna share with you exactly how you can do that. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's a number of different reasons why you may want to do that. For example, maybe you were searching, maybe you were watching a video and there was some good nuggets there and you go back to the video later and you don't wanna have to watch the whole video. You're looking for something in specific, you're looking for something specific that you learned about and you wanna go hear about it again or you wanna learn about it again. And so you can do a little search to find that particular keyword instead of having to watch the whole video, watching all those little closed captions at the bottom. So that would be a reason. Maybe you wanna take that transcript and make it into your blog post. Now, it's not very accurate overall, so it would need some proofreading, it would need some, you know, you to make it readable if you were to make it into your blog post, but it is a free way to do that. So I'm gonna share that with you today. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back my friends. In today's video, I wanna share with you how you can open a transcript in a YouTube video. So let's get started. Here I am, I'm on youtube.com, my, my page, okay, my profile, and you can pick any video, okay? There's gonna be a certain, in, certain instances where there may not be a transcript available. For example, if the closed caption's not available for the video, you're not gonna see this option, okay? Or maybe someone did a live and it lasted an hour. You're, there's a good chance that takes a long time. So depending on when they did it, it may not be available yet, okay? So I wanna share with you exactly what that looks like. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pick Karen Morrow's video here. Okay, and let's say we wanna check it out. And okay, I'm gonna give her a thumbs up here cause she's really cool, she creates some great videos. And of course, always want to support those, right? So here I am, I'm on Karen's video. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Underneath the video here, now number one, are there, are there closed captions available? As you can see, there is closed caption available. So you got that, great, ready to go on that. That means the, transcri the transcription is available, okay? So you see these little buttons here? Yep, you see them, those three dots right there. Click on that and you'll see you can either report the video if it's if it's a bad, you know something you want to report. That's not what we're gonna do. Open transcript. Okay. Now I have the transcript open right here to the right. So this is the transcript. Now you notice there's a timestamp on this video. Okay, which is great if you're trying to find where is this particular you know spot that you're wanting to talk about, okay? So in this case, we can see everything on it. Now, to get rid of the timestamp, you see the little three dots? There goes those little three dots again. Oh, hold on a second. Those little three dots right there. There you go, right next to that X if you wanted to close it out. So go ahead and click on that and you'll see toggle timestamp. And this way you can get rid of the timestamp, okay? So if I was going to make this into my blog post, I can simply copy the whole thing. Let's, this is an example if it was my video and I wanted to make it into a, a blog post, okay? Otherwise, I have no purpose to do it other than that, right? So I'm gonna go down to the bottom I'm highlighting the whole thing, which for some reason doesn't seem to be getting to the bottom. 
Okay, there it is. I think. All right. This must be a long video. Or it's not even doing it. Or I already did it. Okay. So it looks like it's already highlighted. Okay, I did hold on to it. If I go to copy it, I can easily open up, you know, Google Docs in this case. Open up a new page. And I can paste it. Now, it's going to be formatted the same way that you copied it. You can do this in Microsoft Word. You can do this in Google. Uh, you can do this in Gmail. You know, open up like if you're going to email someone and open up a draft, you can easily do that. But when you paste it, it's going to have that same format that you copied it in. It's, there we go. As you can see, it's in, you, because it was auto-generated in English, don't need that. So you can go through this and make this your blog post and obviously you're going to fix it up. That's the thing. It's not ready to go. You're going to have to optimize it that it, it's readable. You're going to make this look like a really good post. But you don't have to come up from with all the words from scratch if you're like me and when you're coming to blog and it, you're taking forever to blog on it because you don't come up with all that stuff so fast, right? So you can easily, boom, make your blog post from here. So that's one thing. But what if you were looking for something in particular on the video? Okay, so let's say I'm looking for, uh, let's say I'm looking for a topic, Redbubble. I saw that she mentioned Red Redbubble. I don't really know what Redbubble is, but in a PC, Control F helps you find the words. Okay, so if you heard something in particular and you want to go and find the words, then you can do that. You can see it's coming up multiple times. So there goes one and I can scroll down or I can click the arrow. Let me close this out. You guys still don't see it. Okay, let me adjust this. I forgot to do that. So as you can see, I have my red bubble up here, the search that I did after I did control F. If you're on a Mac, you can do command F to find as well. So I'm finding everything that in the transcript, let me open that transcript back up and I'm looking for red bubble. Okay. So I can click on the down arrow to find each red bubble that she discusses. So that's two of five. That's three of five four or five so the I'm, i can search for all of that so what that means is if you were watching this video and you saw that there was something of value on there and you wanted to add you wanted to go find it so that you can see what i'm talking about there or see what the video was talking about you can easily do that search so it's simple as that in that process to get it there Okay, so that makes it so much easier to, to do your research. And boom, easy as that. So maybe you found some great value and you wanna see exactly what they were talking about and you're going back. You don't wanna watch the whole video again. And you can just do it, you can do a control F or if you're on a Mac, command F, type in the word that you remember or this, the phrase or whatever and then it'll bring up all those options and boom, you can go straight there. So for example, if I go click on a red bubble one, it's gonna take me to a red bubble. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. It's gonna take me to a red bubble that I've searched for. Okay, so let me pause this because it keeps going. So let's say I wanted to use, oh great, now that you can't use red bubble app on your iPhone, so I can go to that exact spot where they were talking about that. Come on, you've probably been through it many times where it's like, man, I know they said that somewhere on this long video and I don't wanna go through every single minute of the video to find that value point that you found very informative. So hopefully you're getting some value out of this. This makes it so much easier for you in that process okay so 
at the end of the day, you want to make that easier for you. And it's easy as that. So that's how you open a transcript on a YouTube video. My friends, I'm Coach Manny Rodriguez. If you're not sure how to use social media for your business, just call your Puerto Rican friend. I'm here to help. Peace. Have a great day.